We'll now look at something related to differential equations called direction fields. And sometimes these are also called slope fields. Essentially what a direction field is, is it's a picture that shows the slope of the solution to the differential equation. So our differential equations are going to look like this, dy dx equal to some combination of x's and y's. And then we're going to try to figure out what the solution is at a particular value of x and y and see what its slope is and graph it. So first let's see if we can figure out exactly how to do this and exactly what it tells us. And then we'll look at actually drawing a direction field. As an example, here is the direction field for y prime of x equal to y minus 1. So the idea is basically you can see at this one line we have a constant solution. If we have an initial condition that y of 0 is anything greater than 1, we can see that our solution is going to have a positive slope. For example, if we have that y of 0 is this point here, the idea is we just kind of follow the slope of the lines up. If we start below 1, we can see that we will follow the slope of these lines down. So this is kind of the idea of a direction field. Once you start at any given point inside the direction field, you follow the general slope of the lines and then you can get a solution. So now that we have an idea of exactly what's going on, how can we actually draw one of these? Well, when we draw these, the first thing we're going to want to know is when is the derivative equal to 0? Whenever the derivative is equal to 0, that means our slope is 0. So these will be horizontal. The next thing is wanting to know whenever the derivative is bigger than 0 because then our slope will be greater than 0. And then finally, when is y prime less than 0? Because then our slope will be less than 0. So let's look at doing an example. Here I have that y prime is equal to y times y plus 1. Our first step is to figure out whenever this is equal to 0. We can see that happens at y equal to 0 and y equal to negative 1. So I'm going to draw this little number line. We then want to figure out whenever it's positive. Well, if we think of numbers bigger than 0, like 1, I would then have 1 times 1 plus 1 when I substitute that in for y, which is going to be a positive number. If I think over here the number is less than negative 1, like negative 2, then I would have negative 2 times negative 2 plus 1, which is going to be a negative times a negative, so those numbers are also positive. If I think of something in the middle like negative 1 half, then I have negative 1 half times negative 1 half plus 1. I can see I have a negative times a positive, which will be negative. So now I have a general idea of when this thing is positive and when it's negative. So let's actually try to draw the picture. So here's my plane. We said that this thing was equal to 0 at y equal to 0. So when y is 0, we have flat lines. We also said that was true at y equal to negative 1. So at negative 1, we'll also have flat lines. When it was bigger than 0, we had positive numbers. So we want slope to be positive. And in general, the further we get away, the steeper it should be. Between 0 and negative 1, it was negative. So now we have negative slope lines. And then when it was less than negative 1, we're moving back to positive. So here's our general slope field. 